Okay, scuba, time to clean these floors. Seven years of loyal service. Here's to seven more. Let's get this floor... Oh, crap. Man. Well, guess it's a good thing that I bought this. Thanks for watching another one of my videos, and today we're going to look at the Brava Jet from iRobot. But before we do so, I'm going to talk for a second about my scuba. This is my loyal cleaning companion. I call it scuba -doo. I've owned this thing for over seven years, possibly up to nine. I mean, it's, it's been a while. In that time, I've been through about four batteries, an extra scrub brush, a few sets of tires here or there, and it has worked perfectly. And the benefit of it over the Brava Jet is that this actually lays down liquid, it scrubs it with a scrub brush, and then it pulls back in that dirty liquid so you're not just spreading around dirty liquid on your floor. You're actually pulling it back into this thing uh, where you can dispose of it. But over time now, it's gotten to where this red light, will, it's normally green, it'll turn red and it'll say service. I'll have to turn it off, turn it back on. It might be in the middle of running on an open floor and then tell me it's stuck and to check the tank or check the brush. It's just, it's getting old and I realize it's on its way out and unfortunately, they quit making these and replaced them with this little Brava Jet. So, in absence of other options, I decided I would try this to see how it works uh, because, you know, this takes some solution that I don't know how much longer it's going to be available. So, I'm hesitant to get on like eBay and buy some new old boxed one or something. So, let's give the Brava Jet a look, see what it is, and see how it works. Let's get this Brava Jet 240 unboxed, but before we do, let's look at the box. Uh, see that it comes with six cleaning pads. It comes with, I think, two of each kind. It's got a dry cleaning pad, a damp, and a wet. I'm going to just let you look at these. Well, I probably should get some better light on there, but I think you can read that if anyone wants to pause anything. Just some images here, people using it in their bathroom. By the way, if I used one in the bathroom, I would not then use it in my kitchen. Ugh, that's just nasty. Okay, so, and there is our back in multiple languages. Let's get this box opened up. It's always fun opening a box, right? That first newness of everything, it's pretty cool. I'll get this adjusted so we can see a little better. Okay. Wow, very Apple-esque with our packaging, even with the arrows here. So yeah, lift that out. Help has arrived. Pour vous aider. Okay, and here is our... Okay, now there's the difference between it and Apple. This thing is sliding off. But here is our well, Brava Jet straight out of the box. Man, it's light. This thing doesn't weigh much and it's tiny. Look at that. And on the bottom, got some very Roomba. Oh, check that out. Suspension system. This thing can really go. And there's, of course, our battery compartment. Let's set this off to the side and we'll get to some of this in a moment. We also get our quick start guide. Lots of information in there. Set that off to the side, and up here at the top, we have the Brava Jet. Let me see if I can adjust this light a little better. There we go. Brava Jet. Uh, these, I don't know. If, I think these are the wet ones. Yeah, here is the damp. You can tell by the little moisture symbol. No writing that tells you, just the icons. That's how everything is now, right? And then our dry pads. No water listed on those. We also have in the box a charger, and I think this is pretty cool. Uh, this is kind of like an Apple charger. This just plugs right into your wall, and you can leave it in there, and then you take your battery, and look how tiny this battery is. And that thing is tiny, tiny, tiny battery. Lithium ion, I believe. Yeah, lithium ion battery, 1950 mAh. So you're know, getting close to like cell phone, cell phone size batteries. And that is it for our box. So let's get the box out of the way. 
and let's go over this little Brava. So I've taken the plastic off, but I believe you've got, yeah, here's the handle. You lift the handle up to expose your water port. And on the other side is, I believe, I've watched a lot of videos on this, so I believe this is the ejector to eject out the cleaning pads where you can kind of hold it and eject it. Like if you've been cleaning the bathroom, you know, obviously don't want to touch it. And then again, your battery port, one button cleaning system. Here's our little nozzle where it squirts out the fluid. And I'm curious about this because in all the videos it showed people using tap water. You know, tap water is uh, got a lot of minerals in it. And, you know, you get build up around your faucet and things like that. So I'm wondering if distilled wouldn't be a little better, especially if you're putting that down on your floor. You don't want to put minerals, slowly build stuff up. Now, um, I mentioned earlier about the scuba scrubbing and this thing not. This uses these pads and it just kind of pushes them around. But it does. This is the 240 Jet. And they also make a larger one called the 380T, I believe it is. Uh, and even iRobot says that this one actually will clean a little better, just not over as much of a distance. 150 square feet on the wet, 200 on the dry. And uh, the, the reason is, this actually vibrates. It's got some sort of little vibration mechanism. Well, I mean, actually, you can, you can kind of, can you see that? See it moving? So the head here will vibrate this pad which gives some agitation but i don't think that that's going to match i mean this is the cleaning brush you can see a well-used one off of the scuba and this thing's spinning it i think it's like 1200 rpm something like that so it's really beating that dirt off of your floor and then on top of it you have uh, this is the old original scuba juice uh, scuba clorox hard floor cleaner they replaced it with some enzyme cleaner that people hated, and now they've replaced that with this, which is the iRobot branded, which smells just like this, and is concentrated. You actually get as many uses out of the small one as you do the large one because it's concentrated, but uh, supposedly they have built that into this. It's in the pad. And my concern is, you know, with the scuba, you're beating the brush, you're putting down liquid, you're beating it with the brush, and then you're sucking it back up into the scuba, getting it off your floor. You know how it is. You put like a Swiffer. If you have a Swiffer, a Swiffer, you run it around on your floor and, uh, you know, after a little bit, you're just pushing around a dirty pad. It doesn't clean as well. So I'm a little concerned about that, but I don't have options right now. So we'll see, uh, you know, looking at a long-term replacement for the scuba. But that's what the kit comes with. Battery, the charger, the three pads, and the instructions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read the instructions. I'm that kind of person. And then I'll cut back. We'll get this thing into the kitchen and see what it can do. Thanks, and hold on. We'll be back shortly. Brava 240 Jet or Jet 240. This is my first run. I'm going to follow these instructions. It says follow steps one through six to use. Step one, charge and insert the battery. We've done that. Now, the light's not on. The light would be orange flashing while it's charging. I've got this battery pulled partially out and solid green when it's charged. This is fully charged, so I'm going to pull it out. Pretty simple. It just pops in. Now, I did. I started here because I wanted to note this is a double wall outlet. And you see, this actually takes up so much room that I don't know that I would be able to get anything plugged into this. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your wall outlet for the wall charger. And I called iRobot, and they said that you could leave this in the charger um, all the time if you wanted to. Uh, they did, however, say if you ran it more than once a week, that it would be a good idea to take it out when it's charged if you run it more than once a week, which I do, so I'll be taking it out. But if not, then you can leave it in that charger. Now, let's see what step two is. Step two is going to be insert this battery. Well, that's part of step one, to insert the battery. And then we're going to go to the cleaning pad. So I'm going to cut away from this, get over by the actual Brava, and we'll get to step two. Back to step one, I'm going to insert the battery into the Brava. So I'm going to turn it around. There's our battery port. Pardon the poor lighting. Check the orientation of my battery. Apparently up 
is the way it goes and it just pops straight in. And that is our battery installed. I'm also going to remove the packing things that I just now noticed that I hadn't removed. Very important to remove that. And that's, uh, yeah, that shows good how that vibration will work. But okay, there's our little Brava. Now we've done that. We are going to select the Brava cleaning pad. I have that right here. I've chosen the wet mop cleaning pad. And there's just information about that. So according to this, I just turn it over and slide it in. So let's take this out of the package. Sniff test. Yeah, smells like the uh, Clorox cleaning solution kind of. And of course there's two of them in here. Probably shouldn't have ripped that pack. Now, let me get my instructions back. Check my orientation on this. Okay. So according to that, it will slide from this direction on. Now it doesn't tell which tabs line up with which tabs, or if there's an up. So I'm going to just go with the text here on the pad. Well, it appears to have snapped, just lightly clicked into place. So there's our pad. Now let's go back to, and I apologize, this looks so unprofessional, but I have not, this is my first go with this thing. So we've got that done. And then we're going to fill the robot with water. Now, I, I again, I contacted our robot and I asked them about tap water because tap water has calcium, a lot of minerals in it. So, you know, I was thinking that layering up on the floor or inside the clogging up eventually this little spray nozzle on the Brava. But what I did was I contacted them and they said that you could use distilled water, however, it would need to be warmed. So apparently warm water is the key with this. So, and it doesn't say that in the instructions, so I'm going to fill it up with warm water. And then we're getting to the clean steps. So I'm going to move this over to the sink. By the way, I just wanted to show the floor here. Floor is decently clean. I uh, ran the scuba a couple of days ago. So it's, uh, I mean, a white floor, any just looking at it makes it dirty, but... It's pretty clean, so I've just got just a couple little areas that are a little dirty. So let me get this over by the sink and we'll see if we can film, film this thing with water. We are at the sink now. I've got this set to warm. Just check the water, it's warm but not hot. I'm gonna lift the little handle so that just lifts up. I'm gonna reveal the fill port here. I'm gonna open the lid on that. Does it pivot out of the way? Not really. So I'm just gonna hold it out of the way. And I'm going to try to do this without spilling. Wow, that is a tiny, tiny reservoir. Okay, there it goes. Ooh, and that's almost over capped there. I'll just splash out the little bit that I don't need. Shut this lid and let me break. I'm going to get a paper towel, wipe up this excess. Water filled and cleaned up. Don't really like that it's right there by the battery, but closing the handle now. Look how wobbly that little thing is. Okay, so now we're going to go to step five because we filled it with water here, which is step four. Step five, just press clean. We're going to put it in a corner, approximately a foot. Uh, from any walls and then we're going to hit clean once to wake the robot press clean again to start the cleaning cycle Let me move it over and we'll start cleaning. I'm pretty sure that that's about a foot from the wall on both sides Maybe just a little more, but we're gonna press to turn it on and Start the clean process. Let's see what happens. Pardon the mic noises, I, I dropped it. But as you can see, it's going, works pretty quick. It's really quiet, really quiet. 
and it just backs up and sprays and goes. I don't know if it's detecting something and it's just sitting there rubbing on. See, there's a little spot there. I don't know if that's what it's doing or if it's just randomly programmed to do that. But either way, I'll let this little thing run and we'll see how it works and I'll look at the floors when it's finished and we'll uh, see how well it did. Hopefully it'll do well. Here comes our little Bravo. Let's see what happens when it gets near this baseboard because it touched it earlier. I want to see if it actually mapped it because it hesitated as it got to it. So let's see if it remembers how far it had gone. Oh, it bumped. But it does know that that's the point that it needed to turn around was when it bumped that baseboard. Interesting. I noticed it did the same thing in the other corner. Another thing that I have realized already is, uh, I don't know if you can see my far corner over there. That's where I need to start this thing out because I started it in this corner and it has followed the straight track of where I started it. And it's working its way towards me. So it's not going to clean, I don't think, over to the right of that because it thinks that's the far wall. So just wanted to cover some more behavior of it. So far, so good, though. Looks like it's, I mean, the floor wasn't really that dirty, but I think it's doing okay. I felt it. It's not really wet, just a little bit damp. So we'll see what it does. The iRobot Brava Jet has completed its maiden run on my kitchen floor. Did a decent little job. Uh, the floor is clean. It's not sticky. Of course, it wasn't dirty to begin with because of the scuba that I'd ran just a few days ago. But um, it ended up back where it started-ish. It was about, about a foot, foot and a half off from where it started. I think most of that is due to the fact that it was following these lines. I mean, really well. It was staying straight. I was watching it until I accidentally bumped the corner of it with the camera. By the way, just a light touch will cause it to stop. So it thought it hit something and started changing paths. But it came back here when it was finished. It did the entire kitchen. And I just want to show, I mean, this is more than 150 square feet. And you can even see the reflection like from the bricks down onto the floor down there it's really really shaping up nicely with my two robots here i just hope the scuba can hold on for you know forever because i like it but what i did want to do was turn it over and let's look at the pad yeah it definitely picked up some stuff so not bad i also wanted to mention do you see that line there on the wheel these are, they look like scuba wheels, but they're actually a little different. This is actually one strip of this fun stuff that's glued. So I found that interesting. But anyway, there's our pad. See, it did pick up some hair and just some few dirt spots. Now, would this be a total replacement for a scuba? Or in my case, like if you have white floors, could you go for a week or two and then run this thing and get them spotless? Absolutely not. Uh, a scuba can. This thing can't, although this is an excellent little maintenance bot. So if you're someone that cleans your floors thoroughly every so often 
and then you run like say a, a Swiffer, a little Swiffer wet jet or something like that over it, I think this could take its place. And it, in my case, or in my experience, it actually lasted more than 150 square feet because this floor, I can't remember the exact dimensions, but I want to say this was 16 by 12, something like that. So it, it lasted quite a bit further than it is supposed to. Now, what I want to do, I want to get it over to the sink. Let's see how much water is left in this little tank. Before we get rid of the water, let's dump our pad. See how easy this works? Dumped right into the garbage. Works perfectly. Awesome. Pardon the horrible lighting, man. I've got to do something about that. But let's open our little flap. Turn it over. Uh -oh. I mean, just <laughs> hardly anything. Just a few little little drops wouldn't have even filled up a shot glass i mean not hardly anything and that is that so i'll leave that open to air out i'll wipe down the rest of it wipe down the wheels but that is the brava jet i'm going to go to the charger and then we'll wrap this up okay as you can see here in the very darkly lit corner i relocated my charger I have it in, you can see that it's flashing orange. It will take two hours, then it will go solid green and it's ready to go. But I don't use this wall outlet, so I'm just gonna leave this there all the time. And as a final thing, I'm gonna cut to it beside the scuba to show a size comparison. Quick size comparison. Here we've got our scuba on the left, our new iRobot Brava on the right. You can see considerably larger for the scuba. Uh, they're about the same height, almost identically the same height. Just stack this on here to give you an idea. Look at that, considerably larger. Now, uh, one final thing that I wanted to mention was about the charging of the battery. Significantly smaller battery than goes in the scuba. The scuba battery takes forever to charge. That's my only real gripe about it. You run it, it takes probably four, maybe five hours to charge. It's a slow charge, nickel metal hydride battery. This is a lithium ion, so they can fast charge with it two hours. It's charged and ready to go. So you can use, you know, throw a new pad on it and you're right back cleaning the floor. However, I want to just reiterate, this cleans much better. It's a much deeper clean than the Brava. This is more of a, just a little Swiffer, just a little wet mop type thing to get up light dirt and you know maybe light spills something like that where the scuba will really scrub your floor so i hope that the please i robot come back out with another scuba before this one dies because i'm hoping it'll hang on for quite a few more years i might try to buy up some parts so i can keep it running but anyway this is is a success i like it for 199 i mean this was 600 bucks for 199 uh, you know you get this i bought it on sale for 179 it's not bad not bad at all. Uh, now, if you will follow my videos on this, I'm going to do a few more videos on the on the Brava. Uh, more specifically, I'm going to my next video is going to be I'm going to compare how it runs on the dry pads, so where it just uh, dust dust mops, and then the damp mop, and then another wet mop run. We're going to look at the patterns, how it does, as well as how long it takes to clean. So. Keep following, and hopefully we'll get uh, some fun more videos out of the Brava and maybe a couple more with it on the floor at the same time with the scuba. See how that works out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.